Hey there, all you cool cats and kittens. How you doing? Um, video number three, we'll be talking about the virus, coronavirus. And this is the second uh, big topic of the world that I'm living in right now, so I wanted to talk about it. Um, Again, shout out to Netflix, who has a documentary uh, on the coronavirus, where I learned a lot about, like, the actual virus, um, the mechanism and whatnot. Um, it's a series called Explained. They explained this and they explained that, but it's corona <coughs> Coronavirus Explained. Um, so linking the virus to the Black Lives Matter movement, which I've done a little bit, the fact that, um, it's, it's one of the few things on our mind, the Black Lives Matter movement, because of COVID not allowing us to do much more, um, I see that as a blessing. I think that it's a very difficult thing to handle right now, um, but it uh, it's going to allow for change, which is what we want, and it's what we can uh, always count on. Um, yeah. So I think this period of protest will really make us make some change make a solid dent <laughs> um so um with the ongoing pandemic there's tons of chaos and craziness um it's a lot of uncertainty it's something i never or me, me and i can guess Everyone else never planned for this. Um, it's a crazy time we're living in. It's something that my generation has never lived through and many other generations. Um, and I think it's the first time that um, we in the industrial age and the with the technological advances we have, have gone through a pandemic where we're able to, like, isolate it the way that we are. So it's nuts. It's nuts. Um, and so, yeah, what else did I want to say? Um, so there's, there's a lot of, there's a lot of downtime right now, which I also see as a blessing. Um, we are not caught up in doing the things that we normally do with like business and um, going out to social events, um, which for me personally, I guess I'll get a little personal. Um, it's It's been great. I've allowed myself to sort of pull some mental weeds and Clear, clear some things so that I'm able to see what's really important to me in my life. Um, I've started exercising almost every day and I've started doing um, something called gravity yoga, um, which has been great. Um, I struggle with anxiety, as I've mentioned, so my mental health has been, uh, I've, I've been learning a lot, but it's been getting it's, um, I've been able to focus on it more and it's been getting, uh, better, you could say. Um, but it's also allowed me to see that, um, something that I've seen before of what really matters to me in my life and, um, family matters to me and um, uh, 
my loved ones, um, being healthy matters to me, my, uh, myself matters to me, um, the health of the world matters to me, peace and love matter to me. But what I don't care too much for is low battery. Crap. Is um what I don't care for is material um material gain. Um I think that there's a lot of there is a lot of um Like it. What is there a lot of? There is a lot of focus on material gain um, as opposed to the non-material, which I really like to focus on um, because it gives me peace and love. And material, I don't know if this is upside down or not, but the material you can't always count on. Um, not that you can always count on anything but <clears throat> anyway um, and I've seen many things for instance on social media and talks on the news saying how this is a, going to be a time for change it's going to be a time to allow us to reflect and reflect on our past reflect on our future reflect on the present um, for a lot of us. And I think a lot of people will learn to do this more and see its benefits. Um, I think it also, uh, I had this thought today, I think, or yesterday, that it's allowed us to uh, take a break from, uh, I mean, normal life is kind of chaotic at times. It's sort of given us a break from the normal stress, stressful situations or stressors in normalcy. Um, it has, the pandemic has opened the door for other types of stress, but it's given us a break from like social anxiety for a personal example. Um, uh, always chomping at the bit. Um, you know, it, um, it's just nice to have a little break. I mean, um, I think they rested on the set, on the seventh, Sundays for rest in Catholicism. But there's always, there's a, rest is good. Um, you can't go 100% every day. Our bodies aren't meant for that. Also, to add to that, isn't it crazy how we need to sleep like a third, I didn't calculate, but yeah, that's a third, quick math. A third of the day just to function properly. It's kind of nuts that we see ourselves being doers and doing all these things and it only for 16 hours, uh, yeah, 16 hours roughly of the day. And it's just crazy that how important sleep is. Crazy. Uh, what are we at? Nine minutes. Gosh. All right. Um, well, I didn't really prepare much. Um, my list is short, but uh, yeah, I um, think that some of these stressful things that are coming up because of the pandemic are, are, um, you know, fear of getting the virus and, um, fear of losing loved ones and not being able to see them because they're quarantined, uh, fear of, you know, your, your assets, your wealth, 
there's so there's a lot of uncertainty um, but that in itself allows me to see that we can't always rely on these things they always change they're not always the way we want them to be they're not always the way we think that that they are um, and I think that um, there's universally um, a way that blessings come to you not always at once but you know if you may have a trying and a hard and a negative time at right now but I'm telling you once this pandemic's over we're gonna we're gonna kill it in a good kill it in a good way we're gonna we're really gonna pop off we're gonna have some fun um and so my point was that you know there um there's always positive to come I don't think you have negative without positive and I don't think you have positive without negative so when there is negative just know that there's good in the future time goes on and things change and things are always a blessing um, and I also urge people to educate themselves for me um, having uh, a background in biology, I uh, have taken some, I didn't take a virology class, but I know about a lot about viruses, microbiology, uh, what was that other one? Parasitology, it, you know, it's a real eye-opener um, to learn about how many, how, how much, uh, negative or harmful things there could be in our life, like a parasite or getting a virus. Um, and how little control we have over it, if you really look at it. There's a lot of variables in this world. And I've said before that it's hard to be perfect. Most things you can't even see. You can't see a virus coming in airborne into you. Um, so I encourage you to educate yourself and understand uh, where we where we stand among as humans on this earth. Um, there's there's a lot we can't control. There's a lot we can control. There is a lot that we can't control, and during this time we could reflect and see that um, you know it's important to focus on the things that we can control and realize the blessings that we're given among things that we can't control. Uh, I didn't think I was going to go into the more scientific approach to this today but um, I think that the fear of the virus has also raised our stress when it comes to this protest, which is also a blessing because it could bring change. Um, it also goes to show um, the control that we have over our lives. I mean, nobody was expecting this in like early March, early March even, but like nobody was expecting this in like January or February. And it just popped up, you know, really quick. And we had no idea, even if we could see it then, we, we really didn't have any idea what to do. Um, but it's about taking it in stride and seeing what I can control and what I can, how I can live my life the way I want to live it with the blessings that I have and maybe trying to see blessings where you normally don't see them. 
Um, for instance, not being able to see my, f not being able to go see friends, but at the same time having the time to learn how to play a guitar or pick up a new hobby or find something new that can really invigorate yourself, reinvigorate yourself. Thank you for coming to my TED talk. Um, yeah, have a great day. But I'm um, something funny.